Hello, and welcome to um, the first of three uh, podcasts on the Verilux S series. So this podcast specifically will talk about the first technology, which is nanoptics technology. So we're going to get started with the, the webcast now. Um, we're going to discuss Verilux S series limitless vision, and um, here we go. So um, when we talk about Verilux products and bringing a new Verilux product to market, we're always starting with the live optics process. So the live optics process, um, where we start is with human vision. So what we do is we look at what current Verilux products are in the marketplace today and what, um, what needs are still unmet by progressive wares, by our Verilux wares. So we're looking at human vision and unmet needs with current progressive wares. So we always start with real patients. And what we do as we're designing new lenses and trying to come up with new technologies and new solutions for our progressive lenses, we work with real patients in a virtual environment. And we're using Verilux virtual reality. And what we do with Verilux virtual reality is that we're able to change designs and tweak the designs and let patients give us their um, real-time feedback and let us know which design elements and what tweaks in the designs are really beneficial and where they see um, really well prior to ever bringing that to market. So we start in the virtual world. We bring our designs and our ideas there. Once they're tested well with um, many patients, then we bring it to the computing stage and then the prototyping stage. And then we have real live wearers testing prior to ever coming to market. The important thing to remember about our live wearers testing is that these are double blind methods. And that means neither the patient nor the facilitator know which lenses are which. And um, then we make sure that we have really good wearers testing results prior to ever bringing these lenses to the market. So what this does is two things. One is that at any stage within the live optics process, something's not working well or we're not getting good results, we go back to the beginning, we readjust our design, and we start over with the process and go back down through wearers testing. Once the wearers tests are um, they deliver good results, then and only then do we bring it to market. So you can have the confidence um, that you know that real wearers are wearing these lenses already in the world prior to ever bringing a brand new product to market. So now let's look at what the Verilux S series is. The Verilux S series is a product range, so it's not just one product, but it is a, a line of products. It's starting at the bottom, the Verilux S design, and then we have um, the Verilux S Fit, which is our first entry into personalization, and then we have the Verilux S40 lens, and those are exclusive for our Visi Office ECPs only. The one thing that you do want to remember is that the Verilux S series is the seventh generation of Verilux lenses, and um, you know these are in a class of their own. So let's look at what really makes up the Verilux S series lenses. Um, we're basing it on three revolutions. Um, and the first one is a revolution in lens technology, and that's the nanoptics technology. We'll do a deep dive here in just a few slides. The next one is a revolution in lens design, which is synchronized technology. And we'll do that in our podcast number two. And the third revolution is a revolution in personalization, which is on 4D technology, and that will be in podcast number three. So let's start with nanoptics. So with nanoptics, this really is the key to the Verilux S series. This is really the, the crux, the really new, innovative um, technology that really starts um, the beginning of the Verilux S series. So when we talk about Verilux S series, we're always starting with nanoptics. So with nanoptics, as we were developing this technology, remember what we just talked about with the um, live optics process. When we uh, surveyed customers and patients, we found that um, they still say things like, I feel dizzy when I wear my progressive lenses, or I feel like I'm going to fall when I walk um, down the stairs and I have to hold on to a railing. And um, you know, we wanted to make sure that we could address this issue. And these issues are really coming from the swim effect that's found in progressive lenses. So knowing that we're starting with a patient need, we then go to what nanoptics really is, that revolution in lens technology. And this is really, really the key here, is nanoptics entirely re-engineers the fundamental structure of lens design um, during the calculation process. And what do we mean by that, like, you know, fundamental structure and re-engineering the lens? 
we're starting with the first part of the story, which is that semi-finished lens. So starting at the semi-finished level, we have completely changed the geometry or the shape of the semi-finished lens. And um, when you look at the semi-finished, um, you're really not going to see any of that swim effect within the semi-finished, but you're also going to notice that the shape and that geometry is different. When you're matching it up to a um, normal progressive semi-finish, they're not going to have quite as big of a um, steep curve, and it's going to look a little bit flatter. The other key thing that when we're talking about the Verilux S-series is we're no longer talking about base curves as in traditional um, progressive lenses because we don't use traditional base curves. So that is just the first step. That is starting at the semi-finished level. Then our next step is that we're really looking at the lens not as a total surface, so we don't look at the entire surface of the lens, but what we're doing is we have a new method of creating and managing optical elements, which are smaller sections of the lens. And by managing each one of these elements, we then create a new surface of the lens. So you're probably asking, well, what happens with each of these optical elements? So let's dive in there. So the image you're seeing on the screen right now is um, an image of an optical element. And no, you're not going to see you know, this shape or this exact look if you're looking under a microscope. It's just a section of the lens that we're managing. Um, and we manage optical elements throughout the entire lens of the Verilux S-series. So what we're doing exactly with each optical element is that we're managing for the curve effect on the front and for the power effect on the back. And it's really um, looking at that front and back of each optical element. And what we're doing is we're, you know, the result is putting a ray of light that can pass through each optical element without unwanted deviation. So if you're thinking about every section of the lens with each of these optical elements, because we're managing that curve effect on the front and the effect of the power on the back, we're able to pass a ray of light through each optical element without any of that unwanted deviation. So then what happens after we've managed each one of these optical elements, these optical elements are then combined and then they work together throughout the lens for continuity. Now this is really one of the keys to nanoptics technology because nanoptics technology um, has several patents and this is one of the key patents that's involved with nanoptics technology. So there's no one else on the market that is looking at lenses or managing optical elements and there's no one else on the market that has a patent where we can combine these optical elements to work together throughout the lens for continuity. So this is really another key element to the nanoptics technology. So what's that result? So what is the result of nanoptics technology? The result is that it virtually eliminates the swim effect. And then what do your patients see? What do they experience? Stability in motion. It means that they're not going to feel dizzy. They're not going to feel like they're going to fall down the steps. They feel very comfortable and very stable um, when they are in motion. So now let's look a little bit at um, a simulation of what a patient would see with a digital progressive versus a Verilux S-series progressive. Now I'm going to set this slide up and, and kind of walk through how we're looking at it. So if you look at the top, in the middle we have the wearer's edition. Right here we're starting with a one ad. We have sequential slides that will move the ad up. So we're starting with a one ad. And if you can see on the left with your digital progressive, in the, you know, the, the upper part of the lens, the ray of light is coming and passing straight through um, the lens without any unwanted deviation. And the same thing is going on with the Verilux S-series in the top line. But now when we go to the, the, to the bottom ray of light, as you know, you're seeing that curvature of the lens in your digital progressive, you're seeing a little bit of unwanted deviation coming through um, the lens towards the bottom. And then when you look at the Verilux S-series, you are um, not going to get any of that unwanted deviation um, for the Verilux S-series because of the um, optical elements. So what we're going to show you now is what the patient sees. So I'm going to direct your attention down to the stairs. And with the stairs, you're going to be able to um, see on the left with your digital progressive how those yellow lines are starting to curve a little on the outsides. But with the Verilux S-series, you're able to maintain straight steps, which means that the steps are very uh, much looking as they do naturally, and you um, won't get any of that kind of dizzy feeling or uncomfortable feeling. So now let's see what happens when we move to uh, a 2-at. So we've just moved to our 2-at. 
So now, um, looking again at the lens with their digital progressive, on the bottom portion of the lens, you're seeing a larger area of unwanted deviation. And um, with our Verilex S series, um, on the bottom part of the lens, you're still getting that ray of light that gets, passes straight through the lens because of the optical elements. Now you're getting more curvature over here on the edges with your digital progressive, but now we're still able to maintain those straight lines on the stairs for the Verilex S series. Now we're going to move up to a 3 ad, and as you can see, um, there's a lot more unwanted deviation in this section of the lens, whereas we're not getting any unwanted deviation in the Verilux S series in that section of the lens. And um, you can see that there's additional curvature on the staircase um, on both sides, but we're still able to maintain straight um, stairs with the Verilux S series. Let me go back and just kind of show what this looks like. So remember we started with a one ad. Now keep your eyes on the stairs, and then as you go to a 2-add, there's more curvature, and then a 3-add, there's even more additional curvature. So this is what we're correcting with the nanoptics technology. So now let's talk about the outcome of nanoptics technology. So our outcome is continuity throughout the lens without light deviation. And the result of nanoptics technology is that it virtually eliminates swim effect. And what is that patient going to see? They're going to see that stability in motion. They're not going to feel dizzy or uncomfortable going down the stairs um, or when they're, they're in motion. One other thing I want to remember um, that I want you all to remember about nanoptics technology is we, we talked about, you know, that's the beginning of the story for Verilux S series. So the nanoptics uh, story really is two parts. One has to do with the semi-finished, how we talked about the change in um, shape or geometry of the actual semi-finished. And two, it's combined with um, digital surfacing technology. These are the next generation of dual optics lenses, so we're using both sides of the lens and combining you know, the lens design elements on the front and the design elements on the back to give you this new um, lens design. So it's really a two-step process with nanoptics technology, and here is your outcome and, and your benefit. So now let's go to our wearer's results. If you remember when we talked about um, the live optics process, we have our wearer's study results. And what we did was we compared the Verilux S design lens to Verilux Physio Enhanced. And the results that we got was that the Verilux S design was ranked number one in motion stability in a dynamic environment. So um, the patients were comfortable when they were doing the test that it required um, a dynamic environment where either they were in motion or their surroundings were in motion. They ranked um, Verilux S design number one in, that, in those scenarios. And then what we also learned with our um, wearer study with nanoptics technology is that wearers adapted immediately to the Verilux S design. So um, our wearers were able to put the lenses on and um, get testing right away. They didn't need to go away and get used to the lenses or start in a few hours or come back tomorrow. They were able to put these lenses on and start the testing environment immediately. And that concludes our um, podcast on nanoptics technology. And we invite you to um, listen to our other two technologies, which will be coming. Um, part two will be synchronized technology, and part three will be um, 4D technology. Thank you.